Welcome to our living room. And this evening we are so happy because not only do we have our beautiful son, John Nuri, mm-hmm. but we get to have his beautiful husband, Isaiah. And we love our two sons so much. And they have such a beautiful, beautiful relationship and marriage filled with love and understanding. So it's just extra exciting for us this evening. So today we're going to be focusing on um, the interconnectedness of all of us and how we are all one people. And uh, I can think of no one better to speak from his heart on this matter, my amazing husband, Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, I just want to say hello and uh, thank you for for listening to our our hearts and receiving us and and what we have to to share. Um, I I dedicate my life to to positivity and to uplifting and to sharing light and love as much as I can everywhere that I can um, because I. I really know that we are more alike than we are different and the ways that we are different are beautiful and special and um, no one is better than than anyone else. Um, we, some of us have more tools, some have more access, some have more more means, more resources, but when it comes to just human nature we are, we are all equal and um, I see a future where it's easier for everyone to understand and accept that. And I believe that more and more of you can look at someone who looks like me and know that my life matters Mm -hmm. and that celebrating me and um, bringing that into the conversation and focusing on on that. I hope that you know that that doesn't take anything away from the meaning of your life. Mm-hmm. And um, just in, in the, when people are saying Black Lives Matter, please know that the two is implied. It's saying that we know that all lives matter. Um, and in saying that statement, you have to also celebrate um, those that are, that are targeted. Um, that happen to be people that look like me. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to is mm-hmm. I'm continuing in the right direction of love and in positivity and um, empathy. Mm -hmm. And something that I always say and always share is that everyone around you is going through a battle that you know nothing about. So um, be patient, be kind, be compassionate, um, and try to come from a place of understanding and unity more so than being right. Mm. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. So well put. Thank you, Isaiah. Oh, beautiful. Mm. So wise. Mm. Oh. Oh. Isaiah, not only does your life matter, but I am proud of you and I'm so happy that you are with our son. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and part of our family. Yeah. yeah. And. Um, and I, I wrote a song called that I'm calling um, Heavenly Diversity. Hmm. Heavenly Diversity. <laughs> hmm. We are black. We are white. We are all the shades of brown we love we fear we smile and we frown we speak different ways but we all can hear God's voice we may not look like you you But we all know love's a choice We're one, all 
love us we're children of God we're heavenly diversity we're one all of us in our hearts we're all good and we all just long to be free we all just want to be free you and me thank you thank you for heavenly diversity heavenly diversity we are all one we're all children of god so much heart in that song i'm so proud of both of you for truly being um, ahead of your time when it comes to acceptance and love of all people and you've always raised me to believe that as well Um, I I would like to offer a beautiful song by a friend of yours, a beautiful soul, Fantuzzi, who sounds like a really magical person. And he created this song and it just really fits the, the theme. So here we go. You are my mother, you are my father. You are my brother and my friend. You are the inside, you are the outside. You are the circle without end. And I love you so. You help me see, to see you at all, is to see you in me, I'm in you and you're in me, I'm in you and you're in me, I'm in you and you're in me. Well, in, in closing, I want to bring the presence of my mother and my father as they would have absolutely loved Isaiah. They, of course, they loved this guy right here. They would have loved Isaiah. And, and my parents were civil rights activists in their own quiet way. You know, they're just sweet, simple people but they stood up to prejudice whenever they saw it. And they taught my brother and I all the things that Isaiah was saying, that, you know, our white skin doesn't make us any better than any other color skin, that we're all, that we're all children of God. And it's, that's what we can all do with our children, with our grandchildren, wherever we are, is to really spread that message. So... Well, the four of us have been just having a, a wonderful time together, and and we are sending you our love right now. All right. Bye. Many, many blessings <laughs> to you.